Do you check your phone the first thing in the morning? Ever thought about why? In the hustle and bustle of our digital age, it's easy to overlook the subtle signs of cell phone addiction. You might be surprised to learn that it's more common than you think, impacting individuals from all walks of life. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards regaining control. Stay tuned as we delve into the top five signs that you might be addicted to your cell phone. Sign number one, you're frequently checking your phone even when it doesn't ring or vibrate. Now this might seem like a harmless habit, but it's more telling than you may realize. You see, according to various studies, the average person checks their phone 85 times a day. Yes, you heard it right, 85 times. That's almost every 11 minutes during the waking hours. Now, if you're wondering whether you fall into this category, don't fret. There are simple ways to curb this habit. One effective method is setting designated phone-free times during your day. Maybe it's during dinner, your morning jog, or perhaps while you're reading that book you've been wanting to finish. By consciously setting aside time away from your phone, you can start to break the cycle of constant checking. If you're checking your phone more often than you'd like to admit, it might be time to reassess your relationship with your device. Sign number two, you experience phantom vibrations. Now, this is a peculiar one. Ever felt your phone vibrate only to check it and find no new notifications? That's what we call a phantom vibration. It's like your phone is playing hide and seek with you, but the joke's on you because there's nothing to find. Medical studies have shown that this is a common symptom of cell phone addiction. It's your brain playing tricks on you, making you believe your phone is demanding your attention when it's not. So how can we tackle this? Well, one way is to turn off vibration notifications. Yes, it might seem daunting at first, but it's a small step towards digital detox. Another helpful tip is practicing mindfulness. By focusing on the here and now, you can train your brain to not be constantly on the lookout for these phantom vibrations. Phantom vibrations can be a wake-up call that your phone is playing a larger role in your life than it should. Sign number three, you feel anxious without your cell phone. This is a telltale sign of cell phone addiction. Studies from reputable institutions have shown a direct link between cell phone addiction and increased levels of anxiety. You may experience a sense of unease, restlessness, or even panic when you're separated from your device. This is because over time, our brains have become wired to rely on the constant stimulation that these devices provide. Now the question is, what can you do about it? Well, you can start by gradually increasing the amount of time you spend without your phone. Try setting aside specific phone-free times during your day. This could be during meals, before bedtime, or while spending time with loved ones. It may be difficult at first, but with consistency, it will become easier. Remember, it's all about balance. If your phone is causing you more stress than it's relieving, it's time to take a step back. Sign number four, ignoring real life to spend time on your phone. It's a shocking reality, but our virtual worlds can sometimes seem more appealing than the one we can touch and feel. Have you ever noticed how you might be ignoring your responsibilities or relationships because you're too absorbed in your screen? It's a common symptom of phone addiction, but don't fret, we've got tips to help you out. Start by setting boundaries. Designate certain times of the day as phone-free and stick to it. Prioritize face-to-face -face interactions. Remember, a text can never replace a warm hug or a hearty laugh shared in person. If your phone is taking you away from what's really important, it's time to reassess. Sign number five, your sleep is being disrupted by your phone use. Did you know that the light from your phone screen can mess with your body's natural sleep cycle? A study published in the Journal of Sleep Research demonstrates a strong correlation between heavy cell phone use and poor sleep quality. It suggests that the light from your cell phone screen can suppress your body's production of melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate sleep. To combat this, consider establishing a phone-free bedtime routine. Maybe read a book, take a warm bath, or meditate. Remember, your sleep is just as important as your waking hours. If your phone is keeping you up at night, it's time to make a change. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards a healthier relationship with your phone. Let's recap. Frequent checking, phantom vibrations, anxiety, ignoring real life, and sleep disruption. All telltale signs of cell phone addiction. But remember, it's about balance and moderation. Use the tips we've discussed to regain control. As the saying goes, don't let your phone rule you, rule your phone. We'd love to hear about your experiences with cell phone addiction. Share your stories and tips in the comments below.